Good morning. So in this section, we'll discuss an extension of last week's um, discussion, which is on measurement. But before we go to today's lesson, let's revise what we have seen last time. So in our last or previous uh, session, we discussed about measurements. We define what measurement is, and we also we have seen the seven fundamental SI units. And we have also seen that uh, how to uh, calculate uh, or convert from one unit into another by using uh, dimensional analysis. So that's very important. Now, in our today's lesson, we'll see what um, drive quantities are, as well as we'll also see what uh, precision and accuracy refers to. So now the first definition is mass. So as you all know, mass measures how much matter uh, it is present. So it, it measures the amount of matter in an object. The, uh, all right, so the other very important point is um, weight. Weight, in contrast to mass, it measures the force with which gravity pulls on the object. So there is a difference between mass and weight. Mass refers to the amount of, an, uh, amount of matter in an object, whereas weight measures the force with which gravity pulls on the object. Meaning weight, unlike mass, is affected by gravity. If you measure the mass of an object in, for example, on Earth or on the moon, the mass remains the same, whereas weight changes. So that is the difference between weight and um, mass. So you have to remember that weight refers to the force with which an object is being pulled, whereas mass is the amount of matter that an object possesses. So that is the difference between these two concepts. Now, as you may remember from last, from our last discussion, we have seen that kilogram is the SI unit of mass. So you should remember that kilogram is the SI unit because uh, mass is one of the seven fundamental sub, um, units of uh, units. Therefore, uh, kilogram is the SI unit of mass. And as of the length, it is meter. I'm sure you all remember this. Now, for example, to represent a very large or a very small length, we may use uh, prefixes. For example, if you want to write in the part of minus six meter, instead of writing in this way, you can represent this as mu meter. So by using um, prefixes, we can conveniently represent very small or very large lengths. All right. Um, well, in, uh, in lab, we use a stopwatch to measure the time taken from the reaction. I'm sure you know this. Um, the other uh, important point is temperature. So I want you to differentiate temperature ver uh, um, with heat. There is a difference between temperature. Now let us define what temperature is. Temperature refers to the average amount of kinetic energy. So this is very important. It measures the average kinetic energy of particles. Heat, on the other hand, refers to the energy transfer in, into or out of the system. And that is caused by what? A temperature difference between two objects. So for example, if you have two objects, one colder object and the other warmer, warmer uh, or warm object, 
the flow of heat will be from the warmer object into the colder object. So when this happens, we call it heat. So heat refers to the flow of energy into or out of the system, which is caused by the uh, temperature difference between two objects. Now, so also remember that temperature is an intensive property, whereas heat is an extensive property. We have seen this last time. All right. Now there are three different um, scales that are used to measure temperature. The first one is Fahrenheit, which is commonly used in United, United States. And the other is Celsius scale, which is used in all over other countries other than the US. And the third scale is Kelvin scale, which is used in scientific communities. So for example, when you write or report uh, lab or when you publish a paper, you have to always express the temperature at which the reaction or whatever um, other important things happen should be expressed in Kelvin. So this is mainly used in science literatures. So there is a relationship or we can drive a relationship that converts one scale into that. So if you are given degree Celsius, you have to use this expression. So for example, nine over five times degree Celsius, or the temperature at, which is given in degree Celsius plus Celsius. If you are given degree Fahrenheit, you have to deduct 32 first, and then multiply it by five over nine to express it in Celsius. And the other is you can convert degree Celsius into Kelvin simply by adding 273 into the uh, Celsius degree. So in this way, you can convert one scale into the other. Now, so this is very simple. Let us practice. All right. Let's see this with an example. All right. Okay, before I proceed to that, let, let's discuss some drive quantities. When I say drive quantities, we mean that they are either a multiple or division of uh, these fundamental units. Take, for example, air. So area can be found by multiplying lengths times length, right? So meter square is the unit. So this is a multiple of two fundamental units. I mean, when I say two, lengths times length. So this is a drive unit. Um, take for example, density, because density is referred or can be expressed as mass over volume. So this is a division of two fundamental units. Uh, actually, this is not fundamental. This is a drive unit. But mass is a fundamental unit. And this is a drive unit, which is derived from the fundamental units. Therefore, this is also a drive quantity. As you can see, speed, distance over time. So that is uh, a division of two fundamental units, et cetera. So these are fundamental, I mean, uh, derived quantities. All right, the other is, um, the SI unit of volume is meter cube. Now, you have to remember these relationships. One meter cube is the same as thousand deci meter cube. And remember, one liter is the same as one decimeter cube. 
So because one meter is the same as thousand decimeter cubed, I can express one meter or cube is the same as thousand liter. Also, for example, because this is in decimeter, to express this in centimeter cube, I can multiply this side by 10 to the power of minus three. I can multiply this by 10 to the power of minus three. So multiplying both sides by 10 to the power of minus three is the same, right? But 10 to the power of minus three can't be expressed. All right. All right. So multiplying both sides by 10 to the power of minus three is um, it by similar to multiplying anything by number one. So it doesn't make any difference. But now this can be expressed as 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, right? So if you multiply this 0 0.1 with one of the decimal, I can express it as 10 to the power of minus two. And this will be the same as 10 to the power of minus two, 10 to the power of minus two, right? This is what? Um, you can represent this with a prefix. So 10 to the power of minus three liter is the same as one centimeter cube, right? Remember volume is a multiple of area times length. So if you have three dimensions, you can easily find um, volume. Therefore, if you multiply this centi, you have centi, you have centi, it will come or is equal to centimeter cube. Now, one centimeter cube is also equivalent to 10 to the power of minus three. So you can come up with um, such a similar uh, derivations. All right. So this is the measuring cylinder for measuring volume of a liquid. And remember density is, is given by mass over volume. So this is very simple. And the other thing is energy. So energy is the capacity to supply energy or to work. And remember there are two energies that you are familiar with kinetic energy, which is energy due to motion, and potential energy is the stored energy. So just remember those definitions. Also, you have to uh, remember um, those relationships, for you know, the relationship between calorie and joule. So one calorie is given by 4.184 joule, and that's all you have to do. All right, so now let us do this question. Suppose you have a normal human body temperature, which is measured as 37 degrees Celsius. What is this temperature in Kelvins? And the 12 Kelvin. Mm, say it again, you see? 312 Kelvin. 300? 12 Kelvin. 12. Okay, okay. 310.15. Okay. 300? Okay. Yeah. So all you have to do is what? Kelvin is what? Celsius plus? 
two seven three, right? So if you add seven zero, I have one, one, three hundred ten. Three hundred ten. Seven zero, one, five. Very good. Exactly. Now, who can answer this question? Which of the following is not a base SI unit? What does base B SI unit mean? Ground. Exactly. B ground. Exactly. Right. So the answer is ground. Another question. If you measure both the mass and weight of an object on Earth and on the moon, you'd find that C. C. C, the mass remains the same, but weight changes. Change. Go over. Another question. D. 303. 300? A. 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 Exactly, A. Very good. All right. Any question? All right. Now, so now we are going to learn about uncertainty in measurement. So this is very important. There are two values. One value being exact value, which means constant. For example, if I say a dozen of something, it means what? It means 12 of something, right? A dozen of uh, pain or anything means 12. So um, this refers to what? This refers to an exact value. And there is also another value which is inexact or measured. So measured ones are inexact values, meaning when you measure one thing, you may not get the same thing when you do it over and over. So in this case, we say that there is uncertainty. So don't mistake this with mistake. Mistake is different from uncertainty. When I say uncertainty, for example, when you measure something, an object, for example, in a beam balance, you may not get exactly the same values when you do it three or four times. So uncertainty is being incurred when you measure things. Now, there are two important concepts that you should know when you encounter uncertainty in measurement, precision and accuracy. So for example, look at these two darts. Which one is precise and which one is accurate? Or let so me ask, which one, one is accurate? The red one is precise. Okay, the this one is one. one. Accuracy. That, this, this dart is accurate, accurate. right? Exactly, and this is what? Accurate as well as precise, we will see that. This is what? Precise. This is inaccurate. Precise. Exactly, but precise. So there is a difference between accuracy and precision. So when we say precision, we mean that the closeness of what? Of data, whereas accuracy is the closeness of measured values to the true one. Now, let us see. All right, so when we say accuracy, it measures how close a measure is to the actual or true. Whereas precision refers to the closeness of the measurements to each other. So that is the basic difference between accuracy and precision. So for example, when you, I will give you an example later on, to evaluate the accuracy of measurement, we have to compare the measure value to the correct value. 
now. The other concept is measure, uh, precision. Precision is defined as a measure of what? How close a measured value or measured values are to one another. Ex river, irrespective of what? The actual Now, do you see the difference when we say accuracy? Accuracy refers to the closeness of the measured values to the true value. Whereas precision refers to the what? To the closeness of measured values to one another, irrespective of the actual value. Now to evaluate the precision of a measurement, you must compare the values of two or more repeated measurements with each other. So that is the main difference between these two. Now, let me give you this. So for example, the first dart is, or has good accuracy as well as good precision, right? Can you see this? Yes. It has good accuracy as well as good precision, right? B, however, is what? Or has accuracy and good what? Precision. Because the, the data are what? Are closely related. Now, when you see to, uh, when you see, because these are spread apart, this measurement is what? Is neither accurate nor precise. So this is uh, the difference between precision and accuracy. Now, let us see this example. So for example, if you have measure, so these are number of trails. So if you measure, for example, a buzz uh, by, I mean, mass of retains using buzz, buzz room scale or lab balance or analytical balance, you'd get different values. Um, for example, if you take this measurement, I mean, um, using buzz scale, the, uh, so if you have a number of trails, you have to add them up and divided this, uh, the sum of these um, measurements by the number of uh, trails to get the average measurement. And that will give you the uh, accurate one. Now, uh, hold on, I think, let me, let me use this as an example. Okay. Uh, no, no. I think this is not a good example. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Let's see this example. For example, now, do you see the blue line, which is located over here? This represents the true mass. Now, these are the number of trials. So, trial one, trial two, trial three, four. Now, Remember, this is the true mass. So that is the true value, is the meaning of this. Now, if you take the average, simply if you add this, plus this, plus this, plus this, and divided it by four, you'll get 10.13. The true value is 10. So because it is different from 10, it is inaccurate as well as what? Imprecise. Okay? I'll show you later on how to come to this conclusion, especially uh, whether the measured value is precise or imprecise. There is a, a, a role to come up to this conclusion. But because now these values, so you have to compare it to these three uh, students. So this is relative. So student A relative to B and C is inaccurate and imprecise. Now, 
let's come to this land. So if you have, so the first um, trail for B is 9.78, 9 point. So as you can see, these are pretty much closer together. So the measure values are not that far. They're not spread. So they, this measurement is precise. Is it accurate? Remember the true value is 10, but the average is 9.71. So because of that, this measurement is inaccurate. You know, accurate, but precise. Meaning they are closely related, but they are not accurate. Now let's see the third one. I mean, the, yes, the third student. If we take this example, if you add these four measurements and divided them by four, you'll get 10.01, which is more or less close to the true value. So this is accurate. And as you can see, the values are also closely related to each other. Therefore, we say that this measurement is also precise. All right. Now, this is where I want to concentrate. Precision of measurements can't be evaluated. So to say, for example, uh, whether a measurement is precise or imprecise, you have to calculate average division and relative average division. So average division can be expressed as the sum of individual, like x i minus x bar, right, over n. So n refers to the number of trails or number of measurements taken. Xi refers to the individual measurements, and X bar refers to the average value. So in this way, you can measure the average division. So this indicates you whether a measured value is precise or imprecise. Now, let's see what it means. For example, if you have a relatively low standard deviation, for example, if you have 2, 2, 2, 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2. what is the standard deviation of this? Ready? Yeah. What is the standard deviation of the first one? Standard, what does the standard division mean? What is the average of this? Two, right? Is this measured value different from this value? No. Exactly. So the standard, if you calculate the standard division, it is zero. So if you get zero standard division, it means that the measured values are almost, I mean, are the same. What is the average value of this? 2.1, right? So the standard division will be what? Two minus this is minus 0 0.1 plus zero plus 0 0.1 over three, right? Because this is in absolute value, 0 0.2 over three is 0 0.67. No, no, 0 0.067. See, now, the if you compare this value and this measure values, which one is precise? The first one. So if you have low standard deviation, it means it is good precision. 
while a relatively high standard means that the measurables are imprecise or they have poor precision. Is that clear? Mr. Lila uh, So for example, now you will be given the true value. So to determine whether a measure value is accurate or not, you have to calculate what? The average value. If the average value is close to the true value, we call it accurate. So I have to use relative here. If it, okay, let's do this, okay? Now, here there are four students. So these are the number of trials. And if A gets, for example, in the first trial, 8.72, 8.74, and 8.7, let us calculate the average value for each student. So what will be the average value in this case? 8.7, right? Exactly. Yes. All right, now you have to help me here. Okay, 8. Point, um, 8.77, 8 8.83, 0, I have 1, 5, 1, I have 1, 24, 25, over 3, 8.3, uh, no, 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 8.5, 0.7, no, 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 this is 26, uh, 7, uh, exactly, 8.7, Adam? 8.7, ah, ah. exactly. Uh, 8.4, 8. 8. 8. 8. 8.49. Thank you. And what about this? Eight point five six. Eight point five six. So this is average, right? Six. Now, which one is, uh, or which student is accurate? A. A. Exactly. So we we say that student A is accurate. Now, to determine which of these students is precise. Now we have to calculate average division. Now, yeah. if you have a calculator, you can help me. Now, if you deduct this from this, it is zero, right? And if you deduct this, this it gives you 0 0.2. And for this, it will be minus 0 0.02. Absolute value slow minimum check them, 0.04. 41 over 3, 0 0.013. Adam? Division only, yes, sir. Average division. Is it not? I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah, who let you know? Yeah, be the most realistic. Major Mara Madame Tarago, Kazi, Hint Kansala, negative in Bimeta, you have to divide slowly, positive in a minute. Demra. Let's just start having an angle. Gonna sit there. Zero net zero seven, Mister Mister. Are you going to Zero net zero seven. 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 Zero Positive was the less was taken from average marks. Relative the one is relative the one. 
አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ከሰራችሁ በኋላ ለአቨሬጁ ማካፈል ነው። ስለዚህ ሁለቱም እነዚህ እንትኖች ምን እንደሆነ ያሳይ? how precise our measurement is የሚለው ነው የሚያሳይ ማለት ነው። ስለዚህ you can either use average deviation or relative average deviation ማለት ነው። ምን እሺ ሌሎቻችሁ እየተከታተላችሁ ነው? እሺ ሚስተር አበድ አልገባኝ አይዳም ሸሪ እሺ አይዳ አሁን ምን መጀመሪያ ያለው እንደዚህ ዩዙሊ እንደዚህ ነው የሚሰጣችሁ ትሩ ቫልዩ ሰጣችሁና ከዛ ምን እንደምትባሉት which student or is accurate or precise የሚለው እንዲተርሚን አርጉ ዲተርሚን measurement is accurate or precise ይባላል አክዩሬት ከተባለ አይ ሚ ኤግዛክት አክዩሬት ከተባለ ከአቨሬጅ ጋር የሚቀራረቡ ነው ተስቲ ማለት ስለዚህ እዚህ ጋር ኤግዛክት እንት ነው ስለመጣ አቨሬጅ ማለት ይሄን እንደምር ያለሽ ሶስቱ ነው ከዛ ተካፊው ያለሽ ሶስቱ ነው አይደል አቨሬጅ ማለት ለምሳሌ if you have two three a derivative ምን አምን ያልኮስ ሚስተር እሱን ያልገባኝ ነው እሺ derivative ባላል average division division of ah enshi selezi awun lemsale ziga average feli ketebal senezi tedemrina le 3 takafrach selezi ihe 9 selemen 3 yonal malatin 3 3 average no nilal awun lemsale true value 3 no ketebal ziga average 3 selemetalish men tiyalish maletno okay ihe data accurate no men tiyalish malet so similarly men den yaragno we added these values and then we divided them by 3 to get the average kaza bohala lemisali ziga average us intmeta 8.72 meta ziga 8.7 8.49 8.56 meta remember our true values intno 8.72 selezi awon yetinyaw ዳታ ነው የትኛው ተማሪ ዳታ ነው አሁን አክዩሬት ማለት ነው ሪመምበር አሁን ዴፊኒሽኑ ምን እንደሆነ የኤ ምክንያቱም ኤ ነው አይ ኤግዛክትሊ የ ሃው ክሎዝ ዚ ሜጀርድ ቫልዩስ አር ቱ ዘ ትሩ ቫልዩ ብለን ስለዚህ ቢካዝ ዚስ ኢዝ ክሎዝ ቱ ዚስ ወይም ደሞ ኤግዛክት ቱ ዚስ ነው አን እ ዊ ካን ሴይ ዘት Uh, student a hmm, has an accurate measurement in lalam alat gilt nam mr mishi wodent andi yikerta mr a lay malat nam mr ah ka 8.72 lay 8.74 kanesa no 0.2 yemet 0.02 ah ah exactly 0.03 and 3 indit meta ለምን ስምንት አፍ ሰባ አይወሰድም እኮ ይሄማ ስንት መጣ ሁለት አይመጣም 0.02 ኔጌቲቭ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ፖዚቲቭ ነው የሚሆነው አብሶሊት ቫሊው ላይ ነው ከዛ ነው ሳምንት አረጋሽ ከዛ ስለደምረው 0.04 ኦቨር 3 ሲሆን ይሄ ስታካፍሎ 0.013 ይሆናል ማለት ነው እኮ ትራይል 1 እና ትራይል 2 ነው የሚወሰደው ማለት ነው ትራይል ይወሰድም ይሄማ 0 ስለሆነ እኮ ነው እንትን ያልኩት አ ኤግዛክት ስለሆነ ነገር አለ እሺ 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 ሶስቱን ወስደን ከዛ ምን እንደምታረጋው ዩ አድ ኖ ኖ ኖ አቨሬጅ አይደለም መቀነስ አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ነው ያልከኝ ስለዚህ ኢንዲቪጁዋል ሜጀርመንት ማይነስ አቨሬጁ ታረግና ይሄንም እንደዛ ታረግና ከዛ በኋላ ለሶስት አካፍሏል ይሄ አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ይባላል ሪላቲቭ አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ግን እሺ ቆያ አይደል ለምልስና ወደ ሪላቲቭ መጣል ሶ አሁን አክዩሬሲ ገባሽ አዎ እሺ አሁን ደሞ ቱ ዲተርሚን ዌዘር አወር ዳታ ኢዝ ፕሪሳይስ ኦር ኢምፕሪሳይስ ሚሎን ደሞ ምን እንደምን እንጠቀመው ዩዙሊ ዲቪዥን ነው የምንጠቀመው አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ወይም ደሞ ስታንዳርድ ዲቪዥን ይባላል ማለት ኦር ዩ ካን አልሶ ዩዝ ሪላቲቭ አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ሶ እንዴት ነው ዲተርሚን የሚተረገም አቨሬጅ ዲቪዥን ልበለውና ምን ማለት ነው ለምሳሌ ኢንዲቪጁዋል ዳታ ተወሰደሽ ኦር ሜጀር ቫልዩስ ተወሰደሽ ለምሳሌ እዚህ ጋር 
ይሄ ነው አለ ኢሜጅ ማረትሬል 8.72 ማይነስ አቨሬጁ ማለት ነው ይሄ አቨሬጁ ነው this is individual absolute value ላይ ታስገብና plus ይሄኛው ሲቀነስ ይሄ 8.74 ማይነስ 8.72 plus absolute value of እቺኛው 8.70 ማይነስ 8.72 ተወስጂና ይሄን ለ3 ተካፊያለሽ ማለት ነው ምክንያቱም number of trials ን ስለሆነ 3 ስለሆነ ማለት ነው ይሄን አካፍለሽ absolute value ማለት ነው ማለት ነው ምክንያቱም division negative ሊሆን ይችላል ይሄ ማለት division ስንል ከcurrent ወይም ከleft ምናም ነው የሚያሳይን እንጂ negative የሚባል ነገር ይላል አረ ስለዚህ አብሶሊት ቫልዩ ላይ አስገብተሽ ትደምራለሽ ይሄ 0 ነው የሚመጣው ይሄ 0.0 ነው የሚመጣል ይሄም ኔጌቲቭ ነው የሚመጣው አይ ሚን ኤግዛክት ይሄ ኔጌቲቭ ነው የሚመጣው ግን ካብሶሊት ቫልዩ ሲወጣ 0.0 ነው የሚመጣል ስደምኝ 0.04 ነው የሚመጣው በ3 ተካፊው ይሄ ይመጣል ማለት አሁን እዚህ ጋር 0.013 ይመጣል ማለት ከዛ አሁን እዚህ ጋር ደግሞ ስንት መጣል 0.07 አሁን ያራቱን ምን እንሰራና ከዛ ትንሽ remember relatively low uh, average deviation ያለው is more precise ብለና ስለዚህ ከዛ በኋላ ምን እንተያለሽ ኦኬ የዚህ ዳታ ወይም ይሄ ስተማሪ more precise ነው እንላለን ማለት ነው መልስ ሁሉሽ አው ሚስተር ሌላ ጥያቄ አለኝ አንዴ እሺ ለምሳሌ ስቱደንት ኤ ጉድ አክዩሬሲ ያለው አይደል አሁን በለካ ነው ሰረት ታዲያ ጉድ አክዩሬሲ ጉድ አክዩሬሲ ካለኩ ሚስተር የግድ ጉድ ፕሪሲዥን አይደል የሚኖረው ኖ ኖ ነሰር ላይ አይደል ይባል አ ምን ማለት ነው ሰረ አቨሬጅ አውት ላይ ያርግ ይችላል ለምሳሌ አሁን ለሚ ጊቪ አና ዘር ኤግዛምፕል ለምሳሌ አሁን ለምሳሌ አሁን ሁለት እንትን እናወራደ assume that the true value is 1 4 in one okay yeah you know um uh እሺ አሁን ለምሳሌ ይሄን እንሰራለን አሲም ዳት ዘ ትሩ ቫልዩ ኢት ኢስ ናው አሁን ለምሳሌ ኢፍ አይ ጊቭ ዩ ይሄ ስቱደንት ኤ ብንለው ይሄ ስቱደንት ቢ ብንለው የሆነ ነገር ሜጀር አርጉ ተብላቸው የትኛው ነው አሁን ፕሪሳይስ የትኛው ነው አክዩሬት ብትባሉ ሶ አሁን አቨሬጁ ምንድነው እዚህ ጋር አቨሬጁ ኢፍ ዩ አድ 3 5 14 over 4 is um, 3.5 አይደል 3.5 አቨሬጁ 3.5 ነው የዚህኛው if you add for example 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 0 ስንት ይሆናል 16 ነው ይሆናል over 4 ስታደርጉ 4 ነው አይደል አሁን ይሄ 4 አቨሬጁ ከ true value ጋር እኩል ነው አይደል so this is accurate አይ አሁን አንድ አንድ ጊዜ አቨሬጅ አውት ስለሚያደርግ ዳታው አክዩሬት ነው ማለት ነው ይችላል ግን ዲ ቲንክ ዚስ ሜጀርመንት ኢዝ ፕሪሳይስ ይሄ አሁን ለምሳሌ 6 8 2 0 በጣም ስፕሬድ የሆነ ቫልዩ whereas if it exists ቫልዩ ግን እዛው የተቀራረበ they are very closely related man to one another ስለዚህ አሁን እኔ without doing any calculation i can say that a is more precise than b ማለት ይችላል whereas b is what more accurate than a malet chal mesh gaptayan bitra selezi necessarily if you have an accurate uh, measurement necessarily men layon ichal malno precise no malet eh i chal you cannot say that an accurate measurement is necessarily precise similon osedalle bema all right so yes is seralin mesh yes in seralin na sint metallachu ready it this risk 
سين السر هاتم يوسف عفتو نوت عفتو نوت عفتو نوت نشي ايمان عند ايه كو بقال كل ميسرا منو ناتشو Zero point one zero six. Ah, zero point. Heaven, Sharon. I ready, Snap. Oh, ready, Snap. Please, zero point. Zero point one six. Zero six. One six. Ah, I'm too. Yedi, no. Yedi. Yes, Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Okay. So zero point. Zero point. One six. But I'm too. Yes. Yeah, C. Zero point zero one three, no. Zero point zero one three. three. So what can you conclude from this? Uh, I mean, with regard to precision, you know, with regard to precision, what can you, um, exactly. I want to let me start with and pick up with the because now you have the same value for A and C, A average model, average division. So it's a minimum target, relative average division, don't say that. Relative average division, Ihem, ziga average division, bermuda mata kafir, ba true value tak kafir, tak kafir dah lah cuma. To get what relative average division, macam tu, the same value selagi ni cuma. Selagi now, si lemsari, nazi natural precise, kula tu natural, A and C. But if you have to pick one, you have to compare the relative. Um, division the same no model uh, exactly the same model. Get to know, Mister Abbe. The average value no mina kafila waste the true value no mina kafila. Average value my thing. Oh, you can't. True value no deal. Ah. Ziga only misal. Tiko sala 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 shi. The average value my thing. Average value ji. Yanya ma kona and no ma minus. Average value. Average value. So ziga eight point seven two no. So zi chin lazi ta kafila na chum. Ihem lazi ta kafila tuna. So lazi aun kaula two. Is more precise. So, Sata Kafu Rasu, they did smart each other. You can deduce that down because this is larger. The numerator of the telecommunicator to value to Nishlamion, yet in your telecommunion, he now is more precise than C. Malu. We can atom, eight in Nishlona Malu. It's enough. Mr. 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 Precision. What is precision? Precision mallet. The closeness of the measured values to one another blend, irrespective of the true value blend. Whereas uh, accuracy, and again, the measure of the uh, 
uh, or no, no, how close the measured values are to the true value value. So let's see, average on itachu, cat true value ga, yemika. So remember, relative. So let's see, again, exactly the same metal. We can say that student A is more accurate than teacher. Now, to determine whose student measurement is precise or imprecise in Milogan, you have to calculate average deviation or relative average deviation. I want to see that you the same nature. Again, and then when you encounter the same values for the for these two students in the Zilam Sali, the let's say not, and then the body again, you cannot determine whether um, this measurement or this measurement is precise. You know, they do smart gacha. So as you you can proceed to the next concept, which is relative average division. So as you average relative division, the magnet. Average division on the average on uh, mark. Because of what the measurement with the lowest relative average division uh, is the one that has uh, good precision. Good to know. Good to know. Relative division. Ah, right. Becca, some minutes later.